over 100 hours later, crunching so many derivatives and doing so many integrals, calculus is done. And I got a lot to say about it. So if you're new, these videos are specifically made to track the progress going from seventh grade math all the way through calculus to using Khan Academy so that theoretically anyone, regardless of their current math skills, can have a realistic time expectation and a framework to get ready to take on an MIT computer science degree. And with that being said, from September 15th to October 12th, I clocked a total of 130.4 hours of math, which comes out to doing roughly 270 minutes of math per day. And in that time frame, I completed Calculus 1, which puts me this far in my total math journey. Now, that is a ton of math. I mean, even if we look at all the other classes before, calculus has taken way more time than all the other ones. And that's for two reasons. Number one, the content inside the calculus playlist is just way much, I mean, it's way bigger than all the other math classes on Khan Academy. And number two, the test, the progress to get to 100% in calculus is so much harder because the tests are 25 to 30 questions long. And that's compared to all the other classes which have 15 question tests at most and they take you 20 minutes. These tests take you close to an hour and they're difficult. So it just takes you more time to get through the calculus stuff. But overall, I will say this is the best version of learning calculus that I've done so far. I mean, it's fantastic. This is my third time taking calculus, I believe. And this is by far the most comprehensive that I've understood calculus. And it feels amazing to know what's going on, what it all means, how everything connects together. And that's really a testament to Khan Academy. And they did a fantastic job in this. And surprisingly, I would say the calculus part I found out was not the weak spot of like my math knowledge inside of calculus. Surprisingly, it was trig. Okay, the fundamental parts of calculus were pretty easy to understand for me, but the way you dress up a calculus problem with the stuff that you've learned prior, like if you throw trig on top of it, that's what really screwed me up. So now that I have a better understanding of trig, I can solve these problems much easily much more easily. And I will say there is an amendum I'm going to make. I know this entire time I've said, we're gonna go from seventh grade math all the way through calculus two, and then we're gonna start on the MIT computer science stuff. Well, I did some more diligence on what MIT defines as calculus two, and they have a different definition, it seems, to Khan Academy. Great, right? <laughs> But it seems like we need to also go through some multivariable calculus and do some linear algebra before we start on the MIT computer science stuff. So I'm going to be adding those two things to the end of calculus two, and then we'll start on the MIT computer science stuff. Now, that's a lot to take in. If you're interested and in doing this by yourself, I have a notion template in which I track everything and how I go through this down in the description if you're interested. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time after we complete Calculus 2.